Hey, Megan, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Hey, real quickly, let me just mention this about the CRM. So basically, there's two levels of CRM integration with IDX Broker. And the first level, which is the most common, is just a common email integration. And, and what you get with that is you get something where, say you're using Salesforce, you'll get an email from Salesforce. It's something like Megan1234 at salesforce.net. Um, and then you'll just put that email in as the primary email on your IDX broker account. So that's, and, and everybody does, has almost every CRM has some sort of integration like that. That's the most common and the most typical and the most basic. There's actually another um, type of CRM integration that I would consider more of a top tier type integration. I think there's a few CRMs that I know of that are real estate specific that, that have better integration. Um, Lion Desk is one. Follow Up Boss is another. Um, I think one is called uh, IACT CRM. But some of those have like some really good integration. They'll go in and pull out information. But we have a little bit on our leader CRM, but because we don't have all those powerful CRM functions like drip email campaigns and all that stuff, for some people it just it doesn't give them enough. Um, and on IDX add-ons, there's some very basic uh, CRM-ish integration, but I, I probably wouldn't recommend that to people if, they're, if they really want a CRM. So back to the Salesforce thing, or if you use Infusionsoft or something like that, you just have to get that email and just pop it in. And if somebody so has- That's the account email that they sign up with, not like a configured email inside of it or- It's actually a configured email inside of it. So you would okay. sign up with Megan at gmail.com at Salesforce, and then Salesforce is gonna generate an email for you that's at Megan1234 at Salesforce. Usually I've seen it as salesforce.net or something like that. They've changed the domain name. And that would be your, um, that would be the, the one that you're going to pop into IDX Broker. Okay. And um, anybody else that has beyond that, they're going to want you to put in your IDX Broker API key. So if they don't ask, or if, you, if somebody contacts a client and says, can I put in an API key? And the CRM says no, then they just have that, that first tier integration, which is just that email integration. Right. What they do with that is they actually do something as they call it parsing those emails. So they get an email that says, Dear Megan, you have a new lead that just signed up on your IDX broker account. Becky Smith is interested in looking at 123 Main Street and blah, blah, blah. And so those companies, like let's say Salesforce in this case, they parse that email and they try to pick out the key words, right? So they're trying to get the client name, the whatever phone number, email, whatever they can gather out of there. And, and then, then did they like forward it to the correct agents if they find them in there and stuff like that or? Probably not. not, okay. not, not That's not, a little too advanced. Yeah, on that first tier, you're, it's, you're, they're just loading that, some information in there where they may they would have to work it out with their CRM. Like Salesforce is a huge CRM player, but because they do it in a general format, then you lose the real estate specific benefit. Right. So if you want something real estate specific, you need to have a CRM that's real estate specific, like Lion Desk, like Follow Up Boss, and like some I Act, or yeah, and some of those other ones. We probably need to make a a blog post about CRMs and, and just kind of mention some of those. But like if you get Infusionsoft, which is a huge CRM and they're really powerful and a lot of businesses use them and all this stuff. I think my brother was using it for his insurance company. It has no real estate integration. So all they do is get your, uh, you know, your stuff and get it out of the email. So, those are basically the two solutions. There's actually, we don't tell people about this, but there's actually a third option, which is, is if a client has something like Infusionsoft or Salesforce, 
and they want us to custom code something for them. And then maybe we could integrate that into IDX add-ons where we say, you know, there's a bunch of people um, that are using the CRM tool and it doesn't have this feature. We can definitely look at that. We had a guy contact us about one, I think it was one of these real estate specific CRMs that he thought didn't have some features. And so we were gonna write some custom code for him. And there was a group of them, you know, maybe five or 10 real estate agents. So if there's a handful of people that are gonna use a tool like that, I mean, we'd probably actually do it for free or nearly free. But, you know, if just one agent shows up, it's gonna cost us hundreds or thousands of dollars to write that code. And right. it's probably not worth it for us, if that makes sense. So if right, they, right. If they wanna sponsor that and we write it and add it to IDX add-ons, then that's one thing. But aside from that, they're back at either using their email address or using their API key if it's IDX broker specific. So that's, that's pretty much my spiel about CRMs. Do you have other questions that maybe I, you've thought about that I should answer? Um, I mean, not really general questions, but I do like, I'm not sure about like these tickets. Sometimes it's just the wording for